Meanwhile, a wild end to a chase in Montgomery County when four men crashed their vehicle. We first told you about this story at four o'clock today. These men were wanted for robbing a Zales jewelry store. They crashed about five miles south of that store in the area of I-45 near Sawdust Road. And now we are hearing from one of the men who says that he saw the robbery happen. Channel 2's Brandon Walker live where it all started. Brandon. Yeah, Dominique, and investigators are still here on scene, working the scene at the Zales, but they're also tonight looking into whether this robbery is related to one that happened last week, not too far from here, in fact, at the Woodlands Mall. In that case, the crooks got away. In this case, they didn't, all because of that customer who tells us he did what he had to do. It just happened pretty fast. Consider Alan Roche to have been in the right place. They started smashing the glass at the right time. I was returning some stuff that I got from Christmas, and uh, I thought today would be a good day to go in there and return it. And so, yeah, here I am. And there he was at Zales as three masked men rushed in. Sky 2 hovered above the jewelry store on the North Freeway in Shenandoah. Police say the men moved quickly. They grabbed as much jewelry as they possibly could. Smashing display cases with sledgehammers. Here's one left behind on the sales floor. There was a guy kind of watching the doorway, uh, telling everybody to take your time, take your time. And then they couldn't get through the glass. Then the glass started breaking. Then he's like, okay, let's go, let's go. They went, Ross says, but not quick enough. He jotted down their license number and called police, who eventually spotted them. There was a chase. That brings us to a second scene, 45 and sawdust. Here is the getaway car. It struck a tree, police say, and crashed into this pickup truck, flipping it over. Medics treated its driver at the scene. She will be okay. Police say the four alleged robbers then tried to run, but they didn't get far. Their arrest? Stay calm and, you know, kind of don't panic. Thankful, in part, police say, to a quick-thinking Alan Roche. Whenever they all left, I figured, you know, they, they're trying to get away, so it's now it's my time to try to get some information. Yeah, pretty calm, and there's reason for that. Raj said that he felt all right when he noticed that those men were not armed. All they had on them were sledgehammers, and police backed that up. Again, those four men were not armed. Meantime, the Montgomery County Major Case Squad is working with Shenandoah Police on this one, looking to see again if there is a link between the robbery today and the one last week at the Woodlands Mall. We are live tonight in the Woodlands. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.